It's October 11th, 2015, and we are in Hollingdon, West London. I'm going to walk you through and show you the CCTV footage of Shane O'Brien's attack on Josh Hansen. If you do end up liking this video, please subscribe. So this is Shane O'Brien. He's around 31 years old at the time. He's entering a bar. As you see, he's been allowed in by the bar security, and so far, there are no issues. You now see the victim, Josh Hansen. He was 21 years old at the time. He's with friends. Maybe that's his girlfriend as they enter the bar. So far, nothing concerning here. Both men entering as you normally would. I noticed whilst watching this video, Josh seemed to have a girl around him most of the time, whilst Shane was sitting down surrounded by his male friends. It's just an observation, but maybe he was jealous. As the night goes on and Shane is about to leave, he has his first and only confrontation with Josh. You see a Stanley knife being pulled out. A Stanley knife in the UK is mainly used to cut carpets. There was a conversation between the two which went something like, what is your problem? And then Shane attacks Josh. At this point, Josh has blood gushing out of his neck, unbeknownst to Shane. And here is CCTV footage of Shane leaving casually out the bar. The police did manage to spot his vehicle and track it. A reward was put out for £20,000 to help find Shane. Here he is seen in a restaurant looking calm. I don't think he knows Josh is dead. We see him enter a clothing store and normally someone who's committed murder on the run would panic by whatever they see. But Shane was calm and relaxed. He did pay for everything in cash however. Unfortunately for the police, Shane did somehow via private plane leave England and went to Prague in the Czech Republic. Now at some point his time there, he got into a dispute in a nightclub, was arrested by the local police who took photos of him. And as you can see, his look has changed. He's got a big back tattoo. Now it's unclear as to when he knew Josh died from the incident, but my guess would be days or maybe weeks after. This would explain his rather calm and normal behavior shortly after the events and prior to him leaving for the Czech Republic. Once the local police captured him, they took fingerprints and it did match to a missing Shane O'Brien from the UK who was a fugitive at the time. So the British police and the Czech Republican police were in negotiations and eventually a solicitor contacted the police confirming Shane wanted to hand himself in so they extradited him to the UK. When questioned by the UK police in regards to his motive, he said he felt threatened and never intended to kill. This goes back to what I said earlier. I think he looked at Josh. Josh seems like a guy who works out, he goes to the gym, pretty big fella. Both of them seem to be individuals who can handle themselves, big egos. And I just think for whatever reason, Shane was jealous of him. And of course, with alcohol involved, decision making is erratic at best. Eventually, Shane was sentenced to life with a minimum term of 26 years. 